When you when think, you of, think microscopes, of microscopes, do you, do you think, think of your high school, school lab class, class with a microscope, with a microscope on, every on every bench? bench? It's, it's fun, fun to look, to look at, hairs at hairs and drops of pond, pond water in a microscope. In a microscope. But, but did you, did you know, know there are other, are other types of microscopes so, so powerful we can see an atom? What does the world at large use microscopes for anyway? First, let's talk about the different types of microscopy. Microscopy is the act of using a microscope to view tiny things that can't be seen with the unaided eye. There are three main types of microscopy. Optical, optical microscopy, microscopy scanning, scanning probe, probe microscopy, microscopy, and electron, electron microscopy. microscopy. Optical, optical microscopes bounce light off the, off thing, the thing you're trying, you're trying to view. view. They, use they use diffraction, diffraction reflection, reflection, or refraction to magnify, to magnify the, the image, image until, until you can see it. it. The first, the first kind, of kind of microscope ever built, ever built was an optical, optical microscope. microscope. In, fact, in fact, you can you build, build a microscope with a simple system of lenses, much like a powerful magnifying glass. There are lots of types of light-based microscopy. Bright field, Bright field, dark field, field fluorescence, fluorescence, phase, phase contrast, contrast, and others. But, but they, they all have the same goal. goal. Scanning, Scanning probe, probe microscopy involves, involves running a physical, a physical probe across, across the surface of the material. Of the material. It's, it's the equivalent of a blind person feeling, feeling their way around an object. An object. The, probe the probe has a very, a very sharp, sharp apex that determines, that determines how high a resolution, resolution can be produced. Can be produced. To, create to create images of the atom, the apex must be the size of a single atom itself. Electron microscopy creates an image by firing electrons at an object. The electrons bounce off the object and return to a sensor, which creates an image from the data. This is the way we were first able to create images of the atom itself. The benefit of an electron microscope is that electrons have a wavelength of 100,000 times smaller than light, so that increases the resolution of the image. This is what really makes it possible to view an atom. Together, all these techniques allow us to create images of some of the smallest things in our universe, things we could never normally see with our own eyes. The main, the main application, application of microscopes, microscopes is scientific, scientific research. research. It, allows it allows us to see things we could, we could never see before. See before. We, use we use them in biology to study cells, cells with, optical with optical light microscopes. Light microscopes. Develop, Develop nanotechnology, nanotechnology like, like carbon, carbon nanotubes, nanotubes with, electron with electron and scanning, and scanning probe, probe, and pathology, and pathology, pathology to, understand to understand how diseases, how diseases work. work. We've got, We've got a, much a much better understanding of the human body thanks to microscopes, and that has led to treatments for all kinds of diseases. In fact, in fact, microscopes, microscopes are even, are even used, used directly, directly in medicine, medicine to, analyze to analyze biological samples, samples from patients. From patients. Microscopes, microscopes can also be used outside, outside of the pursuit, of, pursuit of, knowledge of knowledge itself. itself. Microscopes, microscopes can be used to look at data collected, collected from a crime scene. scene. You can you look can at look bullets, bullets to compare them to bullets found, found inside, inside a particular, a particular gun. gun. Or you can do a DNA analysis to find out who was present at the scene of a crime. Microscopes can also be used in ecology to see the kinds of microorganisms present in an ecosystem. This can be a good way of monitoring the health of that ecosystem. Even jewelers use microscopes to look for details and flaws in jewels. While the main use of microscopes is to better understand the world, they have all kinds of applications. Let's take a couple of moments to review what we've learned in this lesson. Microscopy, microscopy is the act of using a microscope, a microscope to view to tiny, tiny things, things that can't, that can't be, seen be seen with the unaided, unaided eye. eye. There, are there are three main types, types. Optical, optical microscopy, scanning, scanning probe, probe microscopy, microscopy, and electron, and electron microscopy. microscopy. Optical, optical microscopes bounce light, light up objects, objects and use lenses, lenses or mirrors, mirrors to magnify the image. image. Scanning, scanning probe, probe microscopes move a physical probe across the surface of an object to feel its various shapes and imperfections. An electron, an electron microscope, microscope bounces, bounces electrons off an object, object instead, instead of light, light which allows you to see much smaller things than you could with an optical, optical microscope. microscope. Microscopes have many uses, uses especially, especially in scientific, scientific research, research, in order to learn more about, about the world. The world. Microscopes in medicine have, have bettered our understanding, understanding of the body and disease, and have allowed, and have allowed us to come up with all kinds of treatments. Microscopes are also used to analyze biological samples from medical patients, to look at bullets and DNA from crime scenes, to analyze the quality of ecosystems and look for flaws in jewels. 